Hi, welcome to another Information First training video featuring Content Manager. Uh, the title of this video, the subtitle of this video is Changes. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Because we're going to be talking a lot of changes. We're going to be talking about changes in the program, how to customize and change desktop and or full client to your liking. And most importantly, I don't know if you're aware, there have been recent changes with uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise. As a matter of fact, Hewlett Packard Enterprise has what they've done in the big uh, legalese terminology has spun merged, spin merged their software department into or with a company called Microfocus based out of the United Kingdom. Microfocus is now the owner of Content Manager, Control Point, Structured Data Manager, and those three packages are nicely put together in a portfolio called Structured Content Management, of which we are a gold partner with Microfocus able to deliver that. So let me just go ahead and make some housekeeping here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, whoa, let's get rid of that. Hewlett Packard Gold Partner, and let's bring in the Microfocus logo, which you will see on all future videos. So we are now a partner of Microfocus, and as I said earlier, we are still a gold partner specializing in the services of the structured, or sorry, the secure content management portfolio. The second thing I'll be babbling on any further, let's get to the good stuff today. Uh, we'll go to our, uh, our overlay screen in a moment. Uh, but again, this video is going to be featuring how do we change and customize content manager to make it our own. So let's go to the overlay and uh, let's take a look and open up content manager. Um, I'm going to have to thank or just take a little shout out to Benny sound or Ben sound right now. That's the hip hopity music you're hearing in the background as I talk on about content manager. So the first thing we're looking at here out of the box is the nice blue. Now what you want to do is, believe it or not, uh, with the new ribbon system, the first icon, which really isn't a word, is actually a ribbon. So you can actually click down that. Maybe it's even a throwback to the old uh, menu bar, uh, title menu bar there. But either way, we're going to go down into our options and we're gonna go over to the appearance setting. And right now you see I'm using a custom skin, so I have the ability to turn that on. If I turn it off, it see in the background, it goes back to the default kind of lighter blue and I wanna use a custom blue. Or maybe I'm feeling in a little bit of a hot pink mode, so I'm gonna go put on my hot pink and now I'm using my hot pink environment. Oh, maybe that's too bright and my eyes are now burning. Uh, maybe I wanna go to my green mode. Why do I, would I go to, why would I wanna go to green? This could be my development environment, so I know it's safe to make some changes in here. Uh, whereas red could be danger, that's production. Um, but I'm gonna go back to my nice soft blue and click OK. The other thing you may notice uh, right down here is the double click behavior. Yes, this is a new feature in version 9.2 and uh, earlier version 9.1. Uh, you have the ability to override the default double click behavior. Uh, so right now out of the box, unchange the double click style for documents in the desktop is to edit as it always has been. The double click view for documents in content manager is to view, which it always has been. However, you have the ability now to change that. And look at that, we even have extra options. Double click can be to um, view the properties instead of viewing or editing it or it can be some other system options. So there are a lot of neat little features here just around the user interface. Look at that double click style for containers. Whoa, we can automatically put a navigate into contents or we can make that properties or we can use a system option. So there's a lot of little features here with customizing, customizing this uh, for you. Uh, that's not the main goal of the of this video today. The video uh, here today was to talk about the ribbons. So the new system here, you'll notice we are on now a ribbon system, unlike the previous versions, which was your traditional menu uh, toolbar. So you can see that as I click through each ribbon, I get a different selection of options. Uh, in my home ribbon, for example, I can create new records, I can generate some reports, and I can read my barcodes. If I jump on over to my search ribbon, I can do individual searches for records or locations or activities. If I have a search result, I can do account, I can refine my search. If I'm an administrator and jump on over to my manage tab, I got some options there. But what you might want to do and what a lot of customers have been doing lately is they have been creating custom ribbons that are unique to the business. As a matter of fact, with these custom ribbons, you can put on your own set of commands that you think your user base uses on a more regular basis. And what's even more handy is those commands are all on one ribbon, which saves your users from jumping around from ribbon to ribbon. So let's go ahead and see how we can create very quickly a custom ribbon. First thing you want to do is on the far right, we want to click or at least right click and go to customize the ribbon and up come all of the available tabs. Now on the left, like a traditional content manager, uh, 
option display I can is my list of what I want to select and on the right is what is currently being displayed so I want to create a new tab for my users or for myself uh, just remember if you're an administrator like a global setting you can have the you have the ability to push this tab out to your users so I'm gonna click on a new tab but where do I want to put it I might put it right after the view or maybe after the manage uh, so I'm gonna highlight view and I'm gonna go new tab so it jumps right below it and then the first thing I'm gonna do is go up and give it a name now what's very important here is I can do all this hard work naming it but if I don't put an icon or a command on it I will lose the changes so I will give this one a name and I'm just gonna call this my tab so my tab or actually it's my ribbon let's be authentic here it's my ribbon I click OK now inside each ribbon you'll notice groups let me just move this a little bit to the right here and you can see that in here is the file group uh, if I move this down here is the document group and here is the report group so when I talk about creating new groups that's what I'm referring to so I could think ahead what type of groups might I want I might come in here and say I'm gonna rename this one and this group will be my search group so that's where I'm gonna put all my search related uh, commands click OK I can go ahead to my ribbon and I can do another group here and I'm just gonna put here something along uh, I'm gonna call this one my record group something to that effect so now that I've got my new ribbon and I've got my new groups I can start adding things to it similarly to all the other times we are able to add I can choose from where these things are located so obviously search tab is going to have a lot of my search commands so I'm gonna go into my search tab and I'm gonna look around for things that I like to do when I search oh I love this count button so I'm gonna grab count I'm gonna grab my search ribbon and I'm gonna go add so now I've got my count in there another thing I really like to do when I search is to refine my searches so I'm gonna scroll around looking for refine search there it is down here I grab it I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna move it into my search ribbon as well uh, I also like to access my save searches because you know uh, our company has a lot of save searches and they're really handy for me so I'm gonna go to my saved searches uh, ah, let me find that one I should never pick things that I'm not prepared to find um, I wonder if there's a way for me to edit this video I don't know I'll just keep looking around here until I find save searches it's probably not in the search ribbon but let's go and take a look again um, oh I must I misread it that's embarrassing anyways I'll put in my saved record searches there so after I've added a couple of events there to my search ribbon what I'm gonna go is to my record ribbon and I'm gonna go find some record commands so what I like to do around record commands whoops I hit the wrong one I'm gonna go to my home the first thing I might want to do is create a new object so I'm gonna go down and look for my new there it is and I'm gonna add it to record another thing I might like to do with my records after I do new is view the properties or I may want to just skim around here check it in check it out so I'll just add in some of these I gotta check in I gotta check out now I sound like the the I mean, like the Trivago guy I'm gonna check in I'm gonna check out my record uh, anyways <laughs> I will stop trying to be a comedian uh, properties is another one I like so I'm gonna add those ones there so either way I'm gonna finish this up I picked a few of my favorite commands from both the search ribbon and from the record ribbon and once I've done all that I'm gonna click OK and sure enough I have my ribbon and now when I go into the, each of these individual ribbons I can go to my count so let me just execute this dugong search right now send that one off like that there's my results and I can do my search result by clicking on the one two three I could hit this refine search like that maybe add dugong and marine Ooh, marine something like that see what results come back do my new search count uh, and then of course I can right away while I'm in here create a new record because I see something that I'm interested in so I kind of like these features of creating my own custom toolbar uh, oh, I should cancel all that one now the second thing and another thing that's related however you will notice though that even though I have this custom ribbon that I've added to myself as soon as I click off of it I've lost access to those those commands so another feature that you can do when you customize your uh, ribbon you can also quick uh, whoa I said I'm jumping ahead of myself you can also customize the quick access toolbar now the quick access toolbar is there but it's kind of hidden let's say it's hidden in plain sight so I'm gonna use my drop down here and I'm gonna go to my uh, customize quick access toolbar so first off I'm gonna select that one 
And oh my gosh, it seems to be broken. What is going on? Uh, did they move it? They might have moved it. This is version 9.2. I haven't really looked around here. Customize a quick access toolbar. Okay, I'll do it that way. I don't mind getting into it uh, uh, this particular way. So, same idea as creating a custom toolbar now. What I'm going to do is look for my commands and put them on the quick access toolbar. So, some of the commands that I like that I said earlier was the new. So, I'm going to scroll down and look for my new. Probably in some sort of alphabetical order. There it is. I'm going to add that to my quick access toolbar. I also like my search or my count. Remember my one, two, three. I'm going to look for count. There it is. And I'm going to grab uh, the count. Uh, what else do I like to do? I'd like to refine current search. So I'm going to scroll down and look for refine current search. Uh, and we all know that's the F7 key, my favorite key. Uh, uh, where is it? Okay, so it's not on the commands toolbar, so I'm going to go to my search tab. Again, this is all about hunting and pecking or hunting and searching for your favorite commands. And this is refined search. I hope I didn't go past it. Uh, refined search I like. I'm going to add that one there as well. So these are a couple of my favorite ones. What other ones might I like? Properties is a good one. So I could go back to my home tab. And I could come in here and look for properties. Sure enough, there it is. And I could continue this with all of the commands that I like. When I'm done, I click OK. And you can see now these are now up here. And I can hit my one, two, three. I can do my properties option like this and see my properties. And I have them always available no matter what ribbon I'm in. And now the last thing I notice, it is stuck up here. So what I can do is I can show it on the bottom, which there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. So now I'm able to move that uh, quick access toolbar and put it below the ribbon bar. So it is always there no matter what ribbon I'm in. I will always have access to my quick access toolbar. So those are the two features I wanted to talk to you today. Well, I guess there's three, uh, three features in there. There was one, how to change your colors. Number two, how to add a custom ribbon. And number three, how to do your quick access bar. So the feature of this video, or at least the theme of this video was ch 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 changes. We'll play that. Oh, I can't do a one in there. I got to click off that screen. Here we go. There we go. And I'll just take you over to our full screen or to our end credits. And I'll talk to you again. Remember, we have an expert week coming up in Kirkland Lake, um, Kirkland, Washington in March. We'd really love to have you out there. See, space is limited, so please sign up soon. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We're going to try to send these out a lot more frequent than we have been. Uh, and we are looking for feedback from you all in terms of what you would like to see in some of these videos. Uh, on the left, you'll see a playlist. On the right, you'll see uh, other videos that have recently been added. And in the middle, the sub, 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 sub subscribe button should pop up. So again, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.